that pickleball continues to surge in popularity. Very soon, Central Park's Walman Rink will transform itself into the largest pickleball hub in the entire Northeast. Yeah, that's right. There are going to be multiple courts. Fox 5's Jennifer Williams grabbed a paddle and has a preview of what we can expect. To be honest, I don't even know what pickleball is. New Yorkers might want to brush up on a recreational sport that's popularity was fueled by the pandemic because pickleball is coming to the Big Apple. I don't really know what pickleball is either, but it sounds interesting. I need to learn it first before I can see if I'm going to like it or not. Pickleball is becoming absolutely huge. Here's a rendering of 14 pickleball courts coming to Central Park's Woolman Rink from April 7th to October 9th. Well, I'm excited and I think it's going to be very cool. Of course I tried out. I'll try anything once. <laughs> That's legal. The courts will be open from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. daily and run by City Pickle. The facility is being called the largest pickleball installation in the Northeast. One of the main things is that we don't live close to it or it's too far away. We want to do it after work. So I live a couple blocks away, so now it'll be closer for us to okay. be able to do it. It's becoming a, a massive sport. It's on the television. There are there are international competitions for, for pickleball just now. It really is. This profile is escalating unbelievably. I can't imagine that it wouldn't be successful if you were to open pickleball courts here. I think it'd be amazing. Renting a full court will set you back 80 to $120 per hour, depending on peak times. I'm more on the play for free. That's more <laughs> for me. <laughs> I think pickleball's growing. It's a great sport. Play that. Um, enjoy it. I think uh, you would have a huge turnout. Um, especially for folks in our older generation where they can get a good bit of exercise and stay competitive. City Pickle will take court reservations starting on March 31st. In Central Park, Jennifer Williams, Fox 5 News.